Hello and welcome to the first Two Minute Tuesday of 2021. Today's video is a quick overview of a topic I was asked about earlier today. What is the maximum door opening force in a mechanical system? When we're depressurizing a zone by sucking all the available air from it, we have to make sure that we're not depressurizing the zone so much that the apartment doors can't open, meaning occupants are trapped inside. It's a very real threat, and unless a system is commissioned properly, one that can easily occur in a depressurization system. BS 991 2015 14.2.4 tells us, the design of the mechanical smoke ventilation system should limit pressure differentials so that door opening forces do not exceed 100 newtons at the door handle when the system is in operation. This is how we achieve it. First of all, during the design phase, we ensure that there is enough makeup air being provided to the system so as not to overly depressurize the zone. There's numerous ways of creating makeup air, and that's a little beyond the scope of this video, so we'll have to leave that to another time. But next, when we're commissioning, we'll use a force gauge or a force meter to test every door and ensure that they can be opened using 100 newtons force or less. However, it's important to remember to test every door. This is due to the fact that carpenters, on occasion, will increase the power of the door closer to close a sticky door. Doing this can cause a system that's otherwise perfect to have non-compliant pressures at the door. If you're designing or commissioning a smoke ventilation system, make sure that you have your force gauge handy to check the doors to make sure the residents can escape. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.